Hey guys, MGH here. Welcome back to another episode of my AC Milan career mode. This is episode two of season two. And as you know, we made a pretty good start to the transfer window. We've managed to bring in Benucci, who of course got injured in his first few games. I mean, luckily it's just 12 days, so he will, he will be back in no time. So bringing Benucci in was a huge, huge deal. We've got a few other players in the team already that I'm looking to sell. One of them being Nzonzi. We've also got, uh, where is he, Suso. I'm looking to try and sell him. We've got Mastor as well. We've lost quite a few players. Is it, it, I mean, I feel like the team needs a bit more investment, more than I thought originally. I think we're going to have to bring in quite a few players. Now, also in the last episode, we were doing a vote over on my Twitter. A massive thank you to everyone who took part. And it was really interesting. There was a lot of people that wanted me to go for Ibrahimovic. There was a lot of people that wanted me to go for Belotti. And there was also a lot of people who voted for the other option and left comments of players that they want me to sign. But I can reveal that Belotti was the preferred choice. So that's what that that's basically going to be my main target. If it can't happen, then it can't happen because he is going to be a lot of money. But... I think Belotti, I mean, you can't go wrong with Belotti. He will easily fit into this side. Maybe Keita drops onto the left wing. I don't know what I'm going to do with Keita. I mean, the difference between 4-3-3 and 3-5-2 is I just don't have any winger slots anymore. So it kind of doesn't make sense having him. Oh, I just, I don't know what to do, guys. But Belotti did win the vote. And the other thing that was interesting is a lot of people want me to go for Barini as well. Just because... They've signed him in real life. I might as well get him as it's realism. It's kind of what I'm doing with Biglia as well. I'm buying him just because AC Milan bought him in real life and I want to kind of keep it realistic. So I guess we'll try. His, his wage is a little bit higher than I'd like because he's not really a player that I'm going to use too much. But let's see if we can maybe offer, offer a player as a part of a deal. I don't think so. It's going to have to be money only. But I'm going to wait because we are going to have to make an offer for Belotti first. If I really want to get him, he's going to cost a lot of money. As simple as that. But we've got the money. We have got the money. I think I might offer Suso as part of the deal and just see what they say. Maybe a straight swap. Maybe they would accept that. I doubt it though, to be honest. There is Suso. He's worth 30 million. Belotti's worth 40. I'll tell you what, I'll throw him five. Let's throw him 5 million and see what happens. What we need really is an offer for Suso from, you know, Madrid, PSG, Bayern. Just someone that has a lot of money to spend. But let's carry on here. We've done our training from the last episode. We've got a game against Juventus coming up. Ajax have received a bit of 6 million for Reedwald from Augsburg. Okay, so we'll have to go back in for him. Uh, where is he? Reedwald. We offered 5. So we're going to have to go in with 6.5, I would say. No, we offered 4.5. We'll go with 6.5 and I will make that my last offer. Otherwise, we will go for someone else because I'm not really in a major rush to get a centre-back. And there are so many options out there, specifically because he's not going to be part of the main team. We get a transfer offer for Donnarumma, who has recently signed a new contract at AC Milan. So we're not going to be selling him. Crazy how he's one of my highest rated players and he's 18 years old. Crazy. Um, look at that. Reedwald is proving to be quite a popular option for a lot of teams so far this window. Real Madrid have bought Toby Alderweireld. We get, oh wow, what? Suso plus 41 million for Belotti. And Spurs are not interested in Nzonzi. That's kind of frustrating. Um, all right, I'll leave Musa Dembele for now because again, oops, I didn't mean to back out. We need to sort out striker first. So, yeah, that's... That's a lot of money. I'll go in with 20 plus Suso and let's see what they say to that. I think I think that's a fair price. Surely Suso is worth more than 30 purely because he's a young player. It's like with uh, with Belotti there. He's worth more than his actual value. Um, okay, so we've got also talks. That's all right. We don't need to worry about that. Video, unfortunately, we cannot go ahead with the deal because we're not interested in the player and the cash is not enough. Who did we offer? It was Mastor. Okay, so again, we'll put that one on hold for now. But Ajax have accepted 6.5 for Reedwald. We're definitely going to need a centre-back. I'm just not in a major rush. But we might as well. For this kind of money, very, very decent signing. So we'll try and get that one done. Because we sold um, two other centre-backs, Vergara and Eli. So those are the two centre-backs that have already been sold. Uh, what do we do about these two players? If Nzonzi is staying, then we don't need to sign either of these players, but we'll soon find out. The, these things just play out. It takes a bit of time sometimes. We need to get players in. 
etc, etc. They've accepted Bellotti. 20 million plus Suso. Okay, let's go ahead and get this done. I really want him. I want him bad. 100,000 100, uh, per week. It's not too expensive. Crucial first team player. Four years contract. And I'm getting the player that most of you guys wanted me to get. Ibrahimovic was still a very good option. I still think it would have been a good option, but Bellotti is probably the better choice at this point. Reedwell has accepted, so that's another signing coming in. Good signing. He can play in midfield, he can play at left back, and of course centre back. So that's uh, that's very decent indeed. We'll keep those other offers in play. We'll go ahead and do some training now before the Juventus game. We still have Kessie, Diop, and Romanoli in there. Let's see if they can get a few A's or B's because so far it hasn't been great. Oh, there you go. That is much more like it. So Kessie should hit 80, maybe in two weeks or so. Two weeks worth of training. Now, this game against Juventus is coming up quickly. Let's see if we can get Belotti in straight away. He's accepted. And just like that, guys, we have signed one of the best strikers in career mode, if you ask me. He is so good. With that five-star weak foot, I mean, you don't get many strikers with five-star weak foot. It's as simple as that. So let's get him into the team. And then we need to decide what we're going to do with other players. I mean, Keita is going to be dropped, which is just mental to me. So we've got Belotti and Silva. Keita doesn't fit into the squad. I mean, he barely fits on the bench in a crazy way. Oh, man, what do we do? What do we do? We're going to need another striker. We've got Lapadula, but then we don't have another striker. I guess Niang is the other striker. He is technically a striker, so I guess that kind of works. Is that what we're going to do? Then just sell my store and then the bench is, the, the reserves and the bench are fine. I do kind of want to keep Keita. He is obviously a very good player, but with this formation, he just doesn't really slot in. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Maybe I need to do just a bit more thinking and maybe another vote. Because I love it when you guys, you know, have some, ha have an opportunity to tell me what you want me to do. So kit numbers, what number does Bellotti get? He's got 17 at the moment. We could give him... Number nine, maybe? Who's got number nine? Lapadula. Yeah, I think it makes sense to give Bellotti number nine. Or do we just give him number 17? Tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a look at that when I've finished recording. But Bellotti, for now, will have number 17. That's absolutely fine by me. I'm glad that we've got him in, though, because he will be ready for the Juventus game in just a couple of days. Do we make any signings? I just don't know. Do I want to get Nzonzi out and then bring someone else in? This is the problem with career mode. It's difficult. I mean, there you go. We get an, we get an offer for Nzonzi, and it's Napoli. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go big here. If they can offer me 32.5 million, I will let him go, and I will bring in Moussa Dembele and Bilia as the... I mean, that's pretty much how much it would cost us to get both those players, I would say. So selling one player and getting two is pretty good. But now we're going to jump into the Super Copper final against Juventus. We played this exact fixture last season... And we won it. See, now, how weird is that? Benucci moving to AC Milan, captain of AC Milan, and then this, his first game is against Juventus. That's pretty crazy. And also, I can see Rojo's there. So it looks like they've replaced Benucci with Rojo. Fair enough. I guess, you know, Rojo is very good in this game. He is. He's one of those underrated centre-backs that has pace, has the strength. He's actually very, very decent. So it'd be interesting to see if he's playing on the left or if he's playing in the middle. They're going with four at the back, actually. So he's been playing right centre-back with Chiellini playing on the left, I believe. Yeah. Oh, man, that is a strong team. Higuain and Dybala both start. Kadira in the heart of midfield there. And this is my team. So the only change I've made is Keita has come in on that left wing-back position. Now, I'm just trialling it. I'm seeing how he gets on there. Belotti, of course, is making his debut along with Bonucci. Bonucci up against his old club. It is it's pretty amazing, isn't it, that we've got Bonucci. I can't believe he's actually moved in real life. But let's see how the team plays and especially see how Keita gets on because I'm thinking if it doesn't work out, how am I going to get him into this team? So far Juventus have had a lot of the ball but they haven't really done anything with it. They're just passing it around. Dybala's sitting very deep right now. He's very difficult to tackle though, very frustrating. The referee just did a little one-two with uh, Marone there, <laughs> very lucky. Dybala's through, deflected off Bonucci, out for a corner. I don't think it was going in anyway. I think the keeper would have had it covered. Remember how good Donnarumma is and how good he was last season. And there he is catching it. That was going in. Here is Marone again going for the shot. And it's deflected again for another corner. Juventus have made a good start. They have. A lot of possession. And now they're starting to finally get on the attack a bit more. 
cross comes in. Punched out by Donnarumma. Andre Silva wins it. Belotti's first touch was absolutely terrible, though. I hope that's not a sign of things to come. He's a very good player. I just hope he's right for me. And what a tackle that was. I think that might have been Locatelli. And now we can get on the break with Kessie. Over the top for Belotti. He's going to get there. Try first time volley. Oh, it wasn't bad. I was expecting it to go blasting wide. But actually, it was on target. Not bad. Now, here's Higuain again. Over to Alexandro. I don't know what he's doing there. It's going to be another corner. Every time they have a shot, I deflect it out for a corner so far. Looks like they're going to take it short to Alexandro. Is that Asamoah? I think it might be. It is Asamoah. He's lost it. He's got it back. Typical FIFA tackling. Oh, no. Oh, and they've scored. I took, it. I took him out. It probably would have been a penalty anyway, but Juventus have scored 37 minutes in. And it's just a typical messy goal. I made the tackle on the wing hit. Look at that. And then he just gets it back. Amazing cross in. Couldn't deal with it. It's a good strike from Kadira. And I would guess, well, I would say rightly so that they're winning the game. They've had 60% of the ball and they're in again here. Oh, what a tackle. Keep it in. Yes, Benucci. Well played. Juventus really have dominated this first half. I'm not surprised that I'm struggling, though. I feel like I'm a bit rusty. And I think... That could be the end of the first half. Unless I'm going to get one more opportunity. Put that through for Keita. Bonaventura has made a run. He stopped his run now though. Oh, for God's sake. What is that pass? I mean, what is that? Why would I want to do that? That's the end of the first half. It's not looking good right now. Looks like Juventus are having the same idea as me. Changing their midfield. I'm not sure why they're doing it. They've made a really good start. But I've, br I've brought on Sanchez and taken off Locatelli. Interesting that they've brought on Pjanic as well. Like it's it's a very similar move what they've done there. Let's see how it pans out. Oh no, Dybala's in and he scores just like that with two nil down. Damn it! Dybala is unreal in this game and linking up with Higuain as well just makes them such a deadly duo. But Asamoah with the assist, it's a hell of a strike. I mean, you're just not saving that, are you? You're just not saving that. And that could be game over. I don't know if I'm going to be able to score three. I've had a very poor game. That's a good ball, though. See if we can get Cater in the box. Good first touch. Give it to Belotti. Nice turn. Oh, Marone's there. But Andre Silva picks it up. Hits it across goal. Oh, it's going in. No, it's not. Oh, I thought it went in. I thought it deflected off the keeper's arm and just kind of would have bounced in. But instead, we're going to get a corner. Bonaventura with the cross in. Belotti. How are you saving that? How? Belotti's so close to scoring his first goal. And oh, straight to the keeper's hands. Damn it. Oh, no. Yes, Benucci, but he's lost it. Higuain's in, and it's three. I don't remember getting beaten this badly, guys. I've had such a bad game. If only Belotti's header went in. Or the, the chance before that, where it looked like it was bouncing over the line. If those chances actually... If one of them just went in, this would have been a different game. Again, I've made a great tackle there with Benucci, but... Higuain has just embarrassed me. 3-0. I haven't actually lost a game 3-0 in a long time, I believe. If they make it 4, I quit. I will just delete my channel. <laughs> I can't lose 4-0. Although, it's Juventus in fairness. They're a very good team. Luckily, that one's gone wide. It, it, I shouldn't be embarrassed losing 3-0 because it is Juventus. They do have some incredible players and I've had a very, very bad game. I deserve to lose this. Maybe 3 0 is a bit harsh, but. Oh my god, they're going to go in again here, aren't they? Well done, Masaccio. Well defended. Maybe a consolation goal here. Let's see if we can get Cater through. Oh my god, I've lost it again. That's going to be it. That is unreal. So, take ourselves. 12 months ago, we were winning this game. We were winning this, this trophy. Fast forward 12 months when you think we would, we would have improved, we would have got better players, which we have, and then we lose 3 0. It's just madness. Fair play to Juventus, though. They were very, very good on the day. Chiellini was rock solid at the back. I couldn't touch their defence. And, of course, going forward, Dybala. Even Kadira going forward was a handful. Higuain. Oh, it was just... It was a masterclass. So, we just need to get better. We need to get good. Our manager rating's gone down to 85 now. We were 90 just a couple of, you know, in-game weeks ago. Pretty crazy how fast it can plummet. But either way, I'm now going to revisit some of the other deals... I need to work out, of course, if Nzonzi is going to be moving to Napoli, I believe it was. But the thing is, I can afford one of these players right now. And I'm thinking, you know, now after that game, my feelings have changed completely. Maybe I shouldn't just be realistic and match 
the players that they're signing in real life. I should be going for players that I think will actually improve the team. I don't think Bilia will actually do that. So I'm going for Moussa Dembele. I want, I want Moussa Dembele. He is such a good player in this game. So I'm going to throw in 18 million. I'm going to remove Nzonzi. And let's hope that Tottenham are willing to let him go. He's so good. I've used him in Ultimate Team a lot throughout the last few years. He's just one of those all-rounders, you know. So we'll do some training. And then, of course, we wait to find out what's going to happen with Nzonzi. I hope Napoli buy him. He, I'm not too worried about him going to a rival. It's not like, you know, selling a striker that's going to score loads of goals. So training didn't do, didn't do too well there. But let's just look at this squad and just dub double make sure that I'm, I'm feeling confident. I mean, Kessie's gone up to 80 now, so every player is 80 plus. I want Moussa Dembele instead of Nzonzi. I think that will improve the team. I, do I don't see anywhere else where we need to get better. You know, Keita, Nerez, Niang. Technically, I could sell all three and bring in left backs or left mids and right mids and right backs because that's what I'll be using. But I don't really want to get rid of Cater. I feel like I could even get away with playing him up front if I really wanted to. So I think for now we focus on the Unzonzi saga. I need to probably let him go and bring in someone else. So I think that's how I'm feeling now. Let me know if you've got any comments, guys. I'm always open to feedback. Whether you think I should keep Unzonzi, it's up to you. You can let me know. So thank you so much for watching, guys. In the next episode, we'll finish off the transfer window. We'll start the season. We'll do a squad report. And uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll take it day by day. I think I still have some work to do. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.